She was thwarted an hour and a bit ago in speaking to uh, Zuleika Smart Regan. She is the lady you may have seen her. Um, on the news on social media the other night when the protests were taking place in central London. Um, a handful of protesters became violent, became um, violent in a very targeted way against police officers. And you might have seen that group of police officers trying to urge them back, only to find that they had to run away from them because it was clear that they were coming at them with a real violent intent. Well, Zuleika Smart-Regan is the woman who put herself in between uh, the police officers and the men who were chasing them to hurt them. Um, that thing went viral uh, on Sunday and she was screaming at rioters to stop attacking the police, putting herself at risk, obviously. And if my lip reading serves me, uh, she was saying, this is not why we are here. This is not why we are here. Well, Zuleika joins me. I'm delighted to speak to you. Zuleika, good afternoon to you. Hi. Good afternoon, Sheila. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I need to know two things. How how old are you and how tall are you? Because that was a very brave thing to do. <laughs> I'm 18 years old and I'm five foot four. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah. I knew that was an important question. <gasps> God, listen, yeah. you, you were so impressive and so brave, impressive. Did your mum say you were foolish or did she say you were brave and impressive? It's brave and impressive that I'm getting from most people, to be honest. Good, because it's true. And I thought, in fact, I tweeted uh, when when I first saw the video of you saying, that's not why we're here. Um, it, that actually, that's so true of most of the protesters down there. But for this group, it wasn't true, was it? They they obviously had either planned to do that or just lost their minds completely. So what I feel it was is um, the whole video wasn't obviously caught on tape and the situation wasn't actually at the police it was at a particular man who was then being protected by the police either way it didn't make it okay because violence is not necessary and that is my main point that's mm. not why we was there but um i just felt that it was mis misled violence obviously they were just frustrated you know we wanted it to be heard we felt like we weren't but either way violence was not the answer and i felt like everybody needs to understand that what had happened then? Had the man that they were chasing said something to anger them or what, what, what was going on just before that moment? Um, I can't 100% confirm because I didn't see it for myself, but um, I had been right. told by somebody else that this man had made um, a derogative statement to another man in the crowd about his skin colour and then obviously mm. ran away towards the police. So the protest that had got mad at that man trying to get to that man and obviously it seemed like they were attacking the police. And again, I, I, I saw seconds of it. I saw the bit where you physically put yourself between the two groups and, and urged them to stop and then there wasn't much else from, from the video that I saw. What What happened following on from that, following on from the point where you said, this isn't what we're here for. What happened? So following on from that, um, other people in the crowd also began supporting what I was doing, obviously calming down the other side of the crowd that you couldn't see until a point where they had actually decided, you know, this is not why we're here and we're not going to be violent mm. anymore. Somebody had then spoke to an officer and asked them to put their batons away just to show that they're not here to be violent to us either. So we had almost called a truce, which was beautiful to see that we can finally agree on something that, you know, violence is not the answer. We're not here to hurt them and they're not there to hurt us. We're all here for a bigger cause. Absolutely. Um, you, you were there for a bigger cause. And uh, had, were you, had you been down there all day, Zuleika, yourself? Um, yeah, I had got there from about 3 p.m. with my friend who you may have also seen in the video, the lovely lady in the grey. And we were just yeah. there to support. We were just listening, wanting to hear what people had to say. It's very empowering to see everybody stand together and be united. Um, obviously, what's happened to George Floyd is a horrible thing, but the back, what's come off the back of it has been beautiful. Everybody standing together. You know, we finally have something to fight for as a unit, and I think it's amazing to see. 